Hello curious minds, we are back with yet another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. Before we move on though, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video today, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. When Russia and the US aren't getting along, it's traditional to point to the International Space Station to show that peaceful cooperation in space is possible, even when the two nations are deeply divided here on Earth. This time feels different though. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has created the largest ever divide between the two major partners in the 15 nation project and economic warfare threatens to sever Russia's aerospace industry from the global economy, which might as well be a golden opportunity for competitors like SpaceX. But could SpaceX replace Russia in space? In February, Russia invaded Ukraine in a series of attacks that sparked some of the most intense conflicts in Europe in decades. Russian President Vladimir Putin on February 27th declared a nuclear alert, a move that only furthered international concern. With tensions rising ever higher, companies and countries around the world are breaking ties with Russia in space. SpaceX recently activated Starlink internet services in Ukraine, showing support for the nation under attack. With the company already ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station, reducing NASA's dependence on Russian Soyuz rides, it seems more possible than ever that SpaceX could replace the need for Russian Soyuz capsules. After Russia invaded Ukraine, US President Joe Biden announced his administration would implement new sanctions that would significantly affect Russia's space program. In response, Dmitry Rogozin, the Director General of Russian space agency Roscosmos, shared his candid thoughts online. Do you want to destroy our cooperation on the ISS? Rogozin tweeted in Russian. If you block cooperation with us, you will save the ISS from uncontrolled deorbiting and falling into the United States or Europe. There is also the option of dropping a 500 ton structure in India and China. Do you want to threaten them with such a prospect? The ISS does not fly over Russia, so all the risks are yours. Are you ready for them? Rogozin added. Rogozin's words suggest that without Russia's Soyuz craft to boost the International Space Station, it would deorbit and fall to Earth. However, any visiting vehicle with extra fuel, certainly including SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule, can boost the station and keep it as it's been going. Europe also enacted severe sanctions in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, to which Roscosmos said on February 26th that it would stop its partnership with Europe that enables Soyuz launches from Europe's spaceport in French Guyana. The Soyuz built by Russia's space agency's enterprise, Roscosmos, has made almost 2,000 flights since its 1966 introduction, and its role in space launches has become even more central in recent years. Europe adopted the rocket as its medium lift launch vehicle in 2011. The retirement of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's space shuttle that same year meant that Soyuz was the only way for US astronauts to reach the International Space Station for almost a decade until SpaceX began offering another option. Russia's Soyuz rocket has carried people and payloads to space for decades, a workhorse that has amassed a record of reliability as the most launched in spaceflight history. Yet, in the span of a few weeks, the Soyuz's prospects have been severely diminished in the fallout from the Russia's war in Ukraine. The nation's moves to rework commercial contracts, halt deliveries, and effectively seize property from Western customers has shaken the industry's faith in Russia. The Russian government just killed the commercial potential of Soyuz, said Caleb Henry, a senior analyst at Quality Analytics, a research and advisory firm. Russia's actions threaten to permanently remove Soyuz from the list of globally used launch vehicles. While the rocket has already been facing rising competition from new launch vehicles, the latest moves accelerate the shift away from Soyuz, opening the door for US and European firms such as SpaceX, Rocket Lab USA Incorporated, and Ariane Space SA. 
potentially billions of dollars in contracts could be up for grabs to send commercial satellites into orbit, ferry cargo to the International Space Station, or help mankind explore the cosmos. Orion Space, which marketed and launched the Soyuz commercially as Europe's medium lift rocket, can shift Soyuz customers to its Orion 6 rocket in 2023, Chief Executive Officer Stephen Israel said Tuesday at the Satellite 2022 conference in Washington. In the immediate future at least, NASA has said it will continue to use Roscosmos's Soyuz to return astronauts home. NASA astronaut Mark van der Hey is scheduled to return from a 355-day stint in space on March 30th aboard a Soyuz. The two countries had also planned to swap seats on Soyuz and SpaceX's Dragon, currently the only two vehicles able to ferry people. While van der Hey's return via Soyuz remains on track, it's unclear if the Ukraine war will affect the seat swap plans. OneWeb had six Soyuz launches planned over the next six months to complete its constellation of low Earth orbit satellites to provide internet service. The company ended the relationship on March 3rd after Russia demanded that OneWeb pledge that its satellites wouldn't be used for military purposes and for the UK to divest its stake. OneWeb has deployed about two-thirds of its constellations with Soyuz launches. The fate of the company's satellites in Russia is un clear. OneWeb senior advisor Ruth Pritchard Kelly said in an interview, Roscosmos has also removed staff from a French Guiana site and stopped shipping rocket engines to the US. Russia's actions are seen as a quick means to retaliate against a barrage of US and European sanctions that have pummeled the country's economy, said Henry of Quality Analytics. The loss of Soyuz has delayed payloads, including multiple satellites and the European Space Agency's ExoMars rover in September. I think they wanted to do something that would hurt people quickly and have a big impact, Henry said. They added a year or more of delays to several European programs. Soyuz was already poised to face competition from Rocket Lab. Its forthcoming medium lift vehicle, Neutron, even took design cues from Soyuz, which Rocket Lab founder Peter Beck called the most successful, the most frequently launched rocket in the entire history of spaceflight. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.